Hello there. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome to We Made It. I'm BJ. I'm Corey. We are the maids. Yes, we are. And it's been a while. We took a little bit of a hiatus. It's okay. We are, we deserved it. We did a lot for Christmas. We sure did. Um, up through New Year's. And oh, so yeah. it's not that we haven't been drinking. Oh, we have. And if you've been <laughs> watching us on other social media, you will yeah. have seen some of the stuff that we've been sharing. Because right. we share. We just haven't been shooting any videos like, of it. Dry January was that. I, I genuinely don't <laughs> I know what that is. when I read yeah, people so were many doing friends. Dry I mean, dry if you January. did, more power to you. Good for you. Good for you. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> um, but we are making something today that you, using an ingredient you got for Christmas. Yes. Uh, my lovely wife got me these wild hibiscus flowers in syrup and mm -hmm. they were in my stocking. Yep. Well, they were sort of in my stocking. They started to leak around the lid and so she <laughs> handed them to me on Christmas Eve Christmas instead and Eve. said, hey, yeah. these are leaking. These were supposed to go in your stocking, but I don't want I don't want to make everything all sticky. I didn't want sticky so, all over everything um, else I got you. Anyway. So, um, And they're not hard to find. I got these at Walmart mm -hmm. just in the mixer section. Um, I know I've seen them on Amazon. Sure. So... Go get you some. But it's close to Valentine's Day. Yes. And because of that, we're doing something a little bit more fancy and romantic. And if you're yeah. not the kind of person who celebrates Valentine's Day, or if you just don't happen to have anyone to celebrate right. with this year, then that's just okay. make yourself a fancy drink. Well, and then it's a, a Galentine's that's true. Day or a Palentine's Day. Is that a thing? No, but it is now. Palentine's I just, Day? I just started it. Gals and pals? I just, I just Did you invented invent that thing, I think. Palentine's Day? I think I might have. Okay. So either way, this is kind of a... <laughs> A bougie cocktail. Yes. It's a little bit up. Um, it's up a scale. little frou frou. Yep. Um, it's got some things in it that, you know, mm. you know us. We like to do things Pro a little odd. Probably sometimes. not everybody has these wild hibiscus flowers, right. but like she said, they're, not, they're not that hard, hard to find. So treat yourself. It, and it's really cool. So make it even if you're not celebrating Valentine's Day because it's kind of neat. Um, so we're calling this a Cupid's arrow. Yeah, because. Because it's cute. It's and and it's uh, we got the inspiration from the Wild Hibiscus Flowers in Syrup website, website. the company yes. that, uh, that makes these. And then we've made a few adjustments. So we're calling it our own. And yep. let's go ahead and get started. All right. So we're going to start with gin. Of course. And we're using just uh, Edinburgh gin. It's just a, just a regular old gin. Now, how I've, do you... I've already got the lemon oh. measured out. Should I go ahead and throw that oh, in? Sure. Why not? Okay. So... <laughs> Uh, we'll, we changed our mind. We're going to start Sorry. with the lemon juice instead. And it's one ounce per drink. I've got two ounces already pre-measured out. So let's go ahead and get that in there so we can use our measuring cup. Okay. Uh, we're going to use one and a half ounces per drink of uh, our gin. So Tell me ounces. about the gin that we're using here. We're, we're using, just using a regular old, I don't know what you would call it. A botanical. Straight up gin. Yep. No, like don't use a... Hendrix, don't you? I mean, you could. You could use Hendrix. Use whatever in this, you want. But, but we just didn't want to use anything that had a lot of flavor yeah, on its own. We didn't want to use anything that would overpower, like, the elder, right. the elderflower liqueur that we're going to right now. Yes. And these wonderful, this wonderful syrup from these. Okay, so how much of that are you putting in there? Um, two tablespoons. Okay. And, and I decided it was easier to pour into a tablespoon. Two tablespoons is one ounce. Right. And I was holding this. I <laughs> yeah. had this otherwise occupied. Well, and this thing is really hard to pour out of. It's funny. And I didn't want to get... We got sticky everywhere the last time we tried to pour out of this. As is our trend. So. Uh, and I'm going to be adding uh, one ounce, so half an ounce per, of St. Germain elderflower liqueur. If you have some other elderflower liqueur, Woo. knock yourself Shakers out. Full. Shakers full. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. It looks like we might need to panic, but we've got Wait, we have a whole other one. another don't, whole don't thing. Freak out. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, more. so you're gonna shake this up now. I am. Until it's too, too cold, cold to, to hold. hold. Sort of. I mean, sort Boston of. Shaker doesn't get Boston quite Shaker that doesn't cold. <laughs> quite as bad. But if you're using a regular shaker, shake it till it's too cold to hold. And we'll be right back after we're done shaking. Yep. See you in a sec. Bye. All right, I think that's sufficiently cold. All right. And while you weren't looking, my <laughs> beautiful wife dressed up some fun garnish we'll show you in just a sec. Yep. Uh, with the actual hibiscus flowers themselves. Yep. Uh, you ready for me to pour this into I our am. glasses? Now make sure you leave a little room because we're going to top with our that's bubbly. Right. That's right. And this thing, we actually just bought this and we're super excited. It's a keeper for your champagne to keep it fizzy. Um, we've only just used it 
This, this is the first time we've the used it. the first time we've used so it. So we're really hoping that it actually works and this is still fizzy because we opened this bottle yesterday morning. Oh. Oh, did you just spill it everywhere? I kind of did a little <laughs> bit, but that's okay. That's you, okay. You'll forgive me. I will. Uh, I'm going to grab a paper <laughs> towel. Oh, hey, it sounds like it worked. <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> wow. -y. That was noisy. All, All right. right. So that sounds like that retained some of its uh, pretty condensation. Sure it did. So That's here we're pretty gonna good. top our drinks with just a little bubbly there. Good, good, good. And we're then, using a cava there. Yep. And then check this out. We have Look made how... these little lily pad lemons. Oh, come on. With our hibiscus flowers. So cool. In them. Oh, that so one is cool. Like crooked. It's like that one's a little off. Top heavy. Off balance. That's all right. There you go. It's fine. And however you want to garnish these, um, yes. and these hibiscus flowers are edible, of course. They are. Um, and they. <laughs> what did we decide they taste like? I decided to me they taste like uh, fruit roll up. Yeah, they do. They kind of. Um, so uh, we will probably be eating the flowers this well, time. I will. I like them. Um, <laughs> but the syrup is amazing. Oh, it's so good. Um, it's just weird that. <laughs> the, the flowers themselves they, have kind of an odd get, maybe it's more the texture kind of gummy it's like the they texture. turn into almost like a fruit leather yeah yeah but the taste is sort of like a raspberry almost a raspberry yeah yeah it's um, good but it's good okay well can we drink it now i feel like we should drink can we it. drink it now yeah okay. i think we should get in there okay i don't know maybe do i need to take off the garnish hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yum. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so flavorful. Mm. Ooh, that's good. It tastes like a it tastes <laughs> like a million bucks. I mean it, it looks amazing and it yeah. tastes expensive to match look, the look. This is just this is not something we would drink a lot. No. Like but we did this because it's sort of douchey and it's okay to be <laughs> douchey on Valentine's Day. It is. This is us pretending we have more money than we do. Well, sure. Because we this is a wealthy tasting drink. And look, and looking. Oh, yeah. It looks elegant. This looks like a $15 cocktail. So make this for your significant other um, or for yourself mm -hmm. and feel like you're better off than you are. That's right. <laughs> On Valentine's Day. Like we will. Mm-hmm. It's really yummy, though. Like it really tastes good. It's a delicious drink. Well, yeah. And it's pink. It is. And it's, it's lemony and bright, and you could totally serve this in um, a different glass. Sure. I just always feel like a coupe glass makes me feel like I'm in the Great Gatsby. Yeah. And that always makes me feel fancier. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you're going to serve something fancy, put it in a fancy glass. Coupe glass makes you feel fancy. Yeah. Cheers, and cheers to all of you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, Please leave us a comment. Please do. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if yes. you're on there. If you're watching this through Facebook, welcome. Welcome. Um, if you're not, go find us on Facebook yes. and Instagram. And on Twitter. Well, where are we on oh, Facebook and Instagram? On Facebook and Instagram, we are at We Made It Cocktails. Where are we on Twitter? On Twitter, we are at me, at We Made It Drinks because right. it's fewer letters and Twitter's funny about those things. Sure. Um, so we're all the places. Posting all of the things, mm -hmm. um, not just drink videos. We do post um, what we're drinking out sure. and about um, and experimenting with and other things, brands we've tried and liked. We will often post recipes that aren't quite good enough to make a video out of, but yes. we encounter it or failures <laughs> when we try something and we go, hey, this is something that didn't work. And if you have an idea for how to improve it, please do. Right. Occasionally, um, we have those too. So go follow us on all the things. Yeah. Um, and we will be back soon because we have another soon. drink that we're dying to share with you. We do. Um, so we'll, we will be back sooner than we were this time. That's right. So we'll see you then. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Very romantic. This is very nice. Mm. Should we turn down the lights? Mm. Put on a little music? Little mood music. What is this little? I, I don't know what we're doing. Here? Is that a is it know. a sexy thing? Is that what we're doing? <laughs>
Did I tell you I found there's a recipe somewhere where you stuff them with goat cheese and batter them and deep fry them? I'm sorry, what? Yeah. No, you didn't tell me that because <laughs> I feel like I would have remembered that particular yeah. orgasm. Yeah. About time to open the other. Wait till you do Glad we got a backup Are you bottle. Just sticky. Are you just sticky? I just feel like I'm just sticky. Stop. Stop it. That's what she said. That's <laughs> <laughs> what she said. Yeah, the, oh Lord. Just put the whole thing in there. Just shove it in your face. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I can only get so hard. Good grief. You can't say that on camera. <laughs> you can't say that on camera. I feel like I just said it on you camera. You can't say that on camera. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, are we done? Can't, do you want to be done? Or are do you want to just like capture some more are nonsense we so are that we, we have yet? stuff for art? For, that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs>